So you want to know what is the best DPS in Nier Reincarnation. Now before I start the video, let me explain a little bit what it means for S tier, B tier, A tier, and C tier characters. So for S tier characters, they are basically best at everything. They deal insane amount of damage, they are very tanky, they are basically good in any situation possible. For A tier, it is basically a substitute for S rank characters, so although they are very good at the DPS side, but they have a reduced stats or some sort. B tier characters on the other hand, they are not a bad characters. They can help you a lot with their utility, but they have some weaknesses that really tone down their power. For C tier characters, listen here guys, these characters are not unplayable or bad, but they are far less flexible and has a very average stats. They are used for specific situation and they need more resources before they are viable in any situation. So it means that they are not good for beginner players and you need to grind more which consumes a lot of resources. With that being said, let's get into the video. For S tier, you know it is A2. Has a high insane damage with her rapid attacks. Even if she has a high DPS, she can produce you some defense buff from her skills, which is always nice. But make sure to kill your enemies quickly because she has low HP and defense. It means that she cannot take a lot of damage and she will die faster than any other characters in the game. 2B is a more balanced near Automata characters. Her damage output isn't that high as A2, but I think that her damage is consistent, but it does begin to climb whenever her HP falls below 50%, so maybe you can work her weakness into your strategy. 9S is the best tank in game right now. He has high defense and high HP and has a fixed 10% chance to stun an enemy, so why not? 2P. 2P is probably the second highest DPS from A2. She will play like a first turn burst DPS. Why? Because if her health falls below 80%, her attack will decrease. So I don't think I like it that much, but she is pretty decent at the first turn DPS, like to burst your enemies. Although I prefer 2B because she is a more balanced near Automata characters. 2P is basically the opposite of 2B. 2B has dark element and 2P has a light element, so maybe go get them both if you feel like it. <laughs> okay, I think that's pretty much for the S tier characters. Now for A tier, Vio can fill out your missing 9S. So if you don't have 9S, you can use Vio. She has high defense and has the ability to make your team's agility faster. So it can quickly build your team's combo meter, which is important because the higher combos go, the higher your damage will be. Because if you have 20 combos, you get a 200% damage boost. I mean like two times boost of your damage? Let's go! Demos. Demos uses a gun, so it typically will attack first. Why is he so good? It's because in big bosses or PVPs, he has a 75%, 75% chance to blind an enemy. So it can really carry you through some good encounters, you know, or some tough encounters. You will get lucky because blind is really, really OP in the meta. Rion, almost the same as Demos because of her exclusive weapon has a 75% chance to inflict blind making her a very good characters in pvp and pve and she has an attack buff for your team just like wow okay uh, i'm gonna blind you and i will buff my friend's attack and you will die that's basically how rion works so a good character to focus on don't feel bad if you don't have any s tier characters because a tier characters can provide you with a lot of flexibility same as the s tier characters right the last but not the least for A tier is Gale. Gale is probably the best DPS for A tier characters. So if you don't have A2, go focus on Gale. She has attack teams buff and she can lower the defense of your enemies. And her high agility means that she can attack fast. And again, if you combo it with Fio, you can build your combo meter super super fast. And Gale, she is an excellent all around offensive pick. For B tier characters, it's Akeha. She has the ability to self heal and lower the attack of her enemies. That makes her a very valuable asset in the longer fights. 
against bosses even in pvp if you want to sustain a little bit longer and her high hp and defense really helps her out but why is it sitting in b tier if she is that good well she has a slow skill charge time like i said in the beginning of the video b tier list characters are very very good but it is being toned down by their weaknesses the second character is f66 f66 is the game's main healer right now probably the only main healer as far as i know i know akeha can heal herself but she is not the main healer although f66 is not the best but if you really need a healer to sustain your team then f66 is a very very solid option to be in your lineup now for c tier that is being used in a specific order is o63y because the poison mechanic in this game is not yet balanced maybe give him a shot in boss fight but honestly might as well choose something else in any other situation because he is not that good that's why i said that c tier characters are used are being used specifically and not that flexible in any way possible next is argo so he is a spear users uh, spear users uh, generally are excellent for building teams combo but his stats are average so argo might be a decent pick for pvp in pve i don't think so but hey it's a gacha game you can build whatever you want yeah argo very very average in his stats but excellent for combo building lars lars uses the same weapon type as gale but gale has this attack buff she can lower enemies defense and Lars, his skills are basically an increase his own damage, that's it. So I prefer Gale over Lars, but still, if you wanna build Lars, why not? He is a pretty decent DPS, average at the very least. Maybe it will get buff in the near future and Gale will be nerfed in the near future, who knows? And yes, I think that's pretty much everything for the near reincarnation character tier list. Hope it will help you on how you build your team. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Have a good day and I'll see you guys again on the next one. Bye guys.